I'm so thrilled oh. to see all the family gathered yeah. here yeah. celebrating yes. Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas! Oh, this one's really nice. How much is it? £950. Hi, this is Sara Laratro and you're watching The Fun Carpet. Tonight we are in Leicester Square for the world premiere of Surviving Christmas with the Relatives. We are on the red carpet to meet the cast. Check it out. This role is really different from a big role you had mm -hmm. in the past. How did you find, you know, working on a very light Christmas movie? Was it challenging for you? Do you prefer to play serious roles or like both? No, I think it's really nice as an actor to get a variety of roles and play the range so it was not It was only challenging in as much as you know any role is it's important to bring your best to it but yeah I suppose my challenges were that I had a very very young baby on set with me the whole time I was breastfeeding her so I had the baby with me all the time so it was challenging in that way for me in, in, in a new way but um, I think no it was fun to play the role so yeah. Well, there's complexity in every character, so I think it was more fun for me that she was so obviously self-obsessed and that it was a comedy. Um, but yeah, of course you try and get complexity. We don't get to like show her whole backstory or why she became such a narcissist. Um, not all actresses are. I know quite a few and they're actually really cool, down-to-earth women. Um, in fact, a lot of the women in this film are, are, are like that also. But she, uh, you know, I'm playing someone who's a little bit of a stereotype. Tell me more of uh, your uh, relationship with the kids on set and how it was working with them and with a baby. Yeah, well, the kids, Daisy and the twins, they were just... Uh, sorry, Daisy is her, her character's name. Kitty is her, her name, the girl who plays my daughter. It was just really lovely to work with with children and, and have my own little baby and know that they would grow up hopefully into such cool sweet kids as the kids I got to work with on the movie are. Well, um, I think the I think the meal was a, was a good the Christmas meal was a was a good one when we were all together around the table. I, I, I like big group scenes. So, um, uh, but there's, there's there's a lot in it that was fun. Um, yeah. It's a lovely cast, you know, lovely cast. What's not to like about it? Well, you know, I did 101 Dalmatians, so this was a walk in the park. Um, I really enjoyed 101 Dalmatians and this one dog. You know, for me, they were the famous quote, don't work with children or animals. My quote would be, always work with children and animals because it's really fun and because you're so attentive, attentive to like looking after them, you're really present and it makes it very fresh. I personally love it. Working with the kids were great because they're tireless. So when you work for a very long day, yeah. those kids they make it feel like. Duracell, they're like you know. And they put biscuits out in the afternoon, and then the kids just yeah. have a whole nother cycle. <laughs> and they immediately go. Ah! But then I would fight it them because I like the biscuits, so I would make sure I set my. And they were wonderful. They're they really were great wonderful. with the kids. With the kids. Uh, what was the favorite scene with the kids? Well, I had a lovely scene when I came in and I said Merry Christmas and they all got to hug me like they really loved me. Uh, no, they were very, very sweet. I had some quite fun scenes with the kids, actually. Did you have it? No, you had it. I have a teenage daughter that was behaving badly and I had to go out and snoop on her, maybe fooling around with a boy, and I got frustrated. But it was fun to have like a... Um, an argument with a, a fake teenage daughter as yeah, opposed like, to my real teenage yeah. daughter. Because we both have teenage daughters, so we're like, hmm, this is difficult. How are we going to play this one? Yes. Ooh. Yeah. The children were a joy. The dog was a nightmare. We actually worked with two dogs. One of them hardly moved the whole production. <laughs> the other one moved, but in the wrong way. So it wasn't easy. But we kind of finally got it with second unit and teasing the dog with a little ball at the end of a <laughs> rubber band and God knows what. But it didn't do what it was supposed to do, needless to say. And everybody always says, don't. On a big budget movie, we'd have got the whole thing done by compute CGI and we wouldn't have had to worry about a real dog. We had to do it with a real dog. We kind of got away with it, I hope, but it wasn't easy. You know, it was really fun for me to play a character who's just uh, so mean and so self-obsessed. Um, you know, maybe underneath the door she's, you know, vulnerable and damaged, but on the surface she's an absolute cow. But what about you at Christmas? Do you love cooking for Christmas? Do you have, like, cooking for Christmas? Christmas, you're having a laugh? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, not that in 
no one cooks for me either. We just don't. No. I, I mean, I wouldn't know which. I, I don't eat turkey anyway, but uh, yeah, we could get a good nut roast going maybe. But so how is usually your Christmas? And do you have like fights with your relatives or siblings usually? My Christmases are really different every year. Um, last year we went to the Lake District. The year before we went to India. This year we're going to Tenerife. <laughs> So we like to move around and get away from it all. So, But former Christmases, you know, with my family were always a big sort of, what are we going to do? How are we going to keep everybody happy? Oh, the meal is burned. Oh, someone forgot to take the gravy out and we find it three months later. That did happen. So, yeah. <laughs> what about as a kid, the expectation to get present? Oh, as a child, yeah, of course. I think that, that is sort of built into you, isn't it, as a, as a, as a child to, who celebrates Christmas that you put your stocking out and Santa's going to come and yeah the joy and anticipation of it is really magical and I hope to give that to my daughter certainly but for me now Christmas is sort of you know someone maybe could buy me a nice scented candle or something that's fine you know <laughs> well we're with friends yes in a big group and that's the way to do it really a lot of laughs and a lot of silliness do you cook usually uh, not this time I won't no but but I have done many times in the past yeah I usually um, cook. It's usually like ends up like a dried chicken with hot jam. That's my version of turkey and cranberry sauce. It usually there's a lot of shouting going, Oh God! Oh no! What? Oh no! Look! I only put them in 40 minutes ago holding up incinerated parsnips. Going, Never mind, darling. We can have something. Yeah, I mean, I think the trouble is there's a lot of expectations on Christmas Day, isn't it? It's all too much, you know. Always be something that doesn't go... It's a little glorious, like the Scandinavians do something on Christmas Eve with, you know... Oh, I just go to Ronnie's for the burnt, the burnt chicken. No. <laughs> My wife does a tremendous amount of cooking, so I have to give her credit, but then I'm stuck. I feel like I'm doing dishes for, like, two days. Yeah, it's about so I don't know if I get the better I, end of the I, deal. I do go around to some relatives who literally is a good cook sometimes but he literally uses every single uh, not not even just a pan right. any, anything that holds anything any vestibule at all anything even I find myself washing up cook anything you know it's been used as a colander and it can take about two weeks and you go is it worth it so I guess you need a holiday after Christmas holiday after the holiday especially with kids that's what this movie is I think people will relate to it's exhausting actually it's exhausting in some ways things <laughs> always go wrong. One Christmas we had a flood. Um, uh, ours are, tend to be everyone's a bit more on each other's sides. This surviving Christmas the family are all sort of a little bit at odds with each other. Ours is a right old mucking together and let's have a nice feast and lots of quality streets. I grew up in a household where dad went to the office and the office was the film studios. So I never thought I'd do anything different. It took a long time to get there. I didn't realize you didn't just say, oh, I want to be a film director. But uh, I, that's what I always wanted to do. And that's what I have. I write as well, and I love writing, but it's not quite the same as doing it yourself. Because most of the time you write scripts, they don't always get made. And that's very frustrating. How do you survive your own Christmas with your own family? <laughs> a very good question. Um, I try and prep in advance. And I try and, and keep my sense of humor present. So no fights with the family? Well, in the history, I've, I'm, I've lived quite a long time, so have I ever? Yes. But uh, uh, we all try and be kind to each other and actually my family and I get along well, so usually a good time is had by all. I still believe in Father Christmas, obviously. He, he's real kids. <laughs> That's it for tonight. We hope you enjoyed. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram Instagram. We'll have more for you next time. See you soon. Are you insane? Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.